So, hello friends, today we're going to disassemble this beautiful lens, it's a Nikkor 50mm 1.4 AES and then um, I got this lens extremely cheap because it is a total mess actually um, and you see the focus ring is really really stiff then um, I guess the previous owner tried to fix it and then uh, uh, I don't know what the hell he did actually because this thing should be here and then uh, yeah I, I'm not getting uh, infinity at focus anyway uh, focus at infinity uh, so uh, we're going to fix all that it's not very complicated as you will see uh, so and this tutorial will be useful for any um, Nikkor 50mm 1.4 owner since we're going to disassemble the lens completely uh, and then to do so we start by removing the bayonet so okay so here the bayonet is gone uh, now we just pull the aperture ring you don't have to do much you just have to pull it then uh, we reach the aperture lever here there's a few parts that uh, we need to remove uh, if we want to disassemble the lens and then the first one uh, that I'm going to take out is this spring here um, that I need to disarm because otherwise it might bounce and probably disappear forever and then this is not this is something we don't want okay it fell into the lens we pick it up and then um, there is the pivot here that uh, this pivot here that we need to remove with the uh, flat screwdriver so we take this one out and then here we need to be a bit careful okay no I cannot do it I just removed the pivot and then there is this guiding bar which is not allowing me to remove the aperture lever not a big problem we're just going to remove it now okay so we take this then this thing comes out and then the aperture lever is now free and i can remove it okay now uh, in order to take out the optical assembly i need to remove these two parts here so let me get an appropriate uh, screwdriver and then I just uh, remove these screws here parts as you can see here and now I'm able to remove the optical assembly by rotating it just let me get something because I will need to mark the position where it goes out um, so I hope uh, just uh, the infinity focus thing is just a thing of uh, yeah misalignment of this and not uh, of the okay i got it here i just want to make sure i have the right position okay so i'm marking here and here and then i will 
need to pay attention when I will be reassembling the lens to uh, reach the same position okay so I got the optical assembly here that I have here and then as you can see the grease uh, is not in, in very not good condition so uh, we're going to clean that just after in the meantime I will leave the optical assembly aside and then this is the other part which makes the, 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 the focusing there is a screw here so you have the leak coil here for the optical assembly and behind that you have a, a screw which is very stiff as well and then I think this is the one causing the problem and um, well obviously the dry grease here and the leak oil doesn't help okay and to remove this part so you have this washer here and I get this screwdriver which is magnetized so it's a bit more comfortable just to get the screws well here here and then up this thing comes out and then I have reached this element here which is the yeah is the head of the lens and I think we can remove here this as well And then the only part which is left to remove is this screw here, which uh, uh, I will remove off the camera because uh, it's quite stiff. And then uh, I think it's going to take uh, a few moments. So I will do this and then I'll come back in a few seconds. See you. So hello friends, I started already the clean and then I just wanted to show you uh, the way I do it. Before uh, in the past I used to to to, to clean and to wash everything with solvent and everything but then it was a real real mess and then the lens uh, was smelling like gas like for a month and then and I decided to change my approach and then what I do is I just take some cotton swab like here and then I just dip it with uh, lighter fluid and then I just come and clean locally uh, the old grease and then yeah using this method is uh, the mess is uh, highly reduced and then uh, you avoid uh, your lens smelling uh, like gas like for a month okay so uh, this is the clean I don't want to spend a lot of time in this because yeah the video will become very long and very boring so uh, I will finish the cleaning and then I meet you in a few seconds just to uh, do the reassembly of the lens. So see you. Oh, hello guys, I am back. Uh, as you may notice, I already did some uh, assembly of the lens. So I put uh, the, the screws here. So this one uh, and then the, the leak oil with the optical group and then I do this and because oh yeah assembling the leak oil is the part of assembling the lens who needs the most patience and then I didn't yeah every time I try to do that in camera is always a mess. So uh, if you are just before these guys just be patient and uh, try this is a, a, an exercise of trial and error until you get it right and then when it, once it gets right it should go in smoothly and don't force it otherwise you risk uh, uh, damaging the, the threadings and then this is just a disaster your lens is yeah is dead if you do this so just be patient okay so let's assume then you have reached this point so we're going to 
finish the assembly of the lens so and to do so the first thing we do is we should block the rotation of the inner ring with respect to the exterior ring so, and to do so yeah, we put these small bars here and yeah, should move the ring until we reach we reach the right position once we pass this point and uh, yeah, everything else will be really 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 easy okay I just need my tool and then once uh, I have finished uh, assembling this part of the lens I will show you how to how to calibrate the lens which is well it's not really complicated actually Okay, so we will put these elements now from here uh, we should be safe uh, since we don't risk uh, the threadings and uh, the, the, the helicoil parts uh, going away. Uh, okay, yeah, you see. Here now the master of the motion is this ring here, which I cannot grab. Okay, but yeah, now it's extremely smooth. Uh, okay, now we'll take care of that just later. Uh, okay, now we put. Uh, yeah, we should put this lever here. So we put the lever, we put the guiding part, then we fix the guiding part. Okay. We put this, then we put the lever. To do so, we need the flat screwdriver. Yeah, putting this part is okay. Yeah, usually it requires some work, but we're close. Then we put the spring. So just to be careful. As we put it here in this position, we will bend it just after. Okay. Then move this here. It is loaded. Then we just finish tightening the screw. Then we put this element. Okay, I noticed before that this part was yeah, in the wrong direction, so we're going to correct that as well. Yes, I know I'm not saying anything, but then I am 
very concentrated doing this. Ah, come on. First one was easy, and the second one is a pain. Okay, now. Now I got it. Now, if I put the ring again, now it should be clicking really nicely. So, let's come on. Okay. Okay. Way. Yes. I was clicking everywhere. Okay, so this is it. Let me put the bayonet because we'll need to test that with a camera just after. Just to make sure we have the infinity focusing. Ties a screw are the worst thing ever. Okay, so you will be noticed that I haven't put this part yet. And then this is for a very good reason is because uh, we're going to do the calibration of the lens and to do so um, we're going to remove this part here so normally there's a screw here that I already remove and then I can just rotate this And then just be careful because this thing, I think this part becomes loose. I'm not pretty sure, but just pay attention. Okay, and now uh, with this, we're able to put this ring, and then with the washer, with the washer, okay, now. So you have this part here, once you put the washer here, uh, you can uh, lock the position of this part and then to get the calibration of the lens, uh, we should play with the rotation of this element here in order to make sure that we have infinity uh, focus. So I will do that. But then I think uh, the rest of the procedure is quite straightforward. So uh, this is all for it. Uh, you saw how to disassemble the lens entirely. I give you some direction just to finish the calibration of the lens, which is done by moving this ring here. And then once this is done, you just simply lock the washer here. With the three screws you put back this part here and then you should be able to screw this thing here and then you're done so thanks for watching and see you next time bye